Hey everyone! Today we are going to be reviewing another product. This time we're bringing you the Campbell Can Crusher. This is a pneumatic can crusher. I think it's going to be a fun one. We're going to go ahead and open up our box with our Finch Halo. Go ahead and check out the information in the link down below if you want to check one out for yourselves. Super nice knife. So this is a pneumatic can crusher. You do need an air compressor to use this. So we're gonna get this all out of the box, take a look at it, and then we'll head on out to the garage to get it set up. It's gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. All right, so have that first look together. And inside the box, we have another box. Look right there, we have a picture on a box and it looks like we have a cylinder of some sort. Here we have our Campbell Can Crusher Manual and Safety Instructions. We will definitely be taking a look at these. We have our pair of gloves that they promised us. Ooh, all kinds of pieces and parts. A mechanical valve. We have this little bag of parts and pieces mounting, looks like it says on the back, can crusher pneumatic fittings. Some tubing. I think this is the part that crushes it. It's pretty heavy. And then we have our actual housing here, this metal housing. And one more piece, this other metal part. Let's go ahead and open up this bag of gadgets and gizmos so we can take a look at it. So it looks like we have can crusher spare mounting kits. We have can crusher mounting screws. I love how everything's labeled. Like this definitely helps you set things up and do it the right way. Can crusher pneumatic fittings. You can kind of see through that bag a little bit there as well. And it looks like we have some Allen wrenches and another little wrench as well. Now that we have all of the pieces and parts out of the box, let's go ahead and get started assembling things so we get to crushing some cans. So we have our cylinder here and on the top there are these fittings here. They have a nice blue cap in there. Those just pop right out. And then we're going to take these elbows and put them in there. Nice little elbow. And of course they have provided us with a wrench as well. They also did provide us with the tape to tape up those threads if you'd like to as well for that uh, nice, nice connection. Inside our blue bag of can crusher mounting screws is where we're going to find those screws to go ahead and mount this on top of here. You can see that hole, make sure that you align it like so. And then our screws are going to go right in here. We're just going to continue putting everything together, uh, paying attention to these directions. Again, they are very helpful because they show you exactly what pieces you need and where things go. Now that we have this attached, we're gonna go ahead and open up our mechanical valve, otherwise known as that red button, look at that. Um, so that's your hand button to go ahead and crush those cans. Um, there is some assembly that needs to be done. As you can see, those threaded um, fittings there. So we do have, this is where everything happens. Um, so obviously you crush those cans, um, but all of those pieces, parts, and connectors, um, they do have them all nicely labeled in there as well. And again, you have your tape. It does tell you exactly what pieces you are going to need um, to utilize that tape for. And then we have like our muffler and different, all kinds of different things. Um, but they go right on here. And again, this picture down here is gonna show you exactly what you need to know and where to install those. We have all of our connections now on our hand valve. So now we need to attach it to the side and you want the two connections pointing upwards and there's some nice holes that are pre-drilled on the side. 
so you can just push that button to crush the cans. So we're going to use those included screws and nuts to do so. Now that we have our valve all tightened up, I'm going to go ahead and install that speed controller. So that's the piece that has this little knob on it to change the speed of our can crusher. That's going to go on the same side here, just down below. Thread that in. Of course, you have your tape if you need it to help with any air leaks. And then your wrench to tighten this up. Now it's time to go ahead and assemble the can crusher. Not really. This is that head assembly. It does have some heft to it. So that just goes right on here and threads on. I went ahead and brought our can crusher out to the garage and we've mounted it to the wall. So they do have those screws included for you um, to mount that to the wall. I also connected our air compressor to that quick release um, right there on the side. As you can see, our can is gonna go right in here. And of course, this is going to come down and crush it after we push that red button. Um, also, the can is going to kind of kick out the side here. You could put like a trash can or something down below. If you're going to be crushing a whole bunch of cans, um, this makes for a very nice feature. It just kind of comes down the side. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. one more can with that air compressor off. Thanks for watching people. We really appreciate it. If you're new in town, consider subscribing. Till we see you again, keep your nose clean. Bye-bye.